Have you ever spent hours trying to organize your folders manually and wonder if there's a better way? Stick around and we'll go over on how to automate this task using Python. If you're new here, then make sure to click that subscribe button. All the links discussed in this video are available in the description below. I'll be pointing these out throughout the video. So let's jump into it. In this session, we will build on from part two. If you have not seen part one or two, then make sure to check those out before continuing. Links are in the description below. I have the Python Voice Assistant app open in PyCharm. Let's look at an example. We have two media files, video and image. The program will create a media folder and subfolder inside it, image and video. The MP4 file will be moved to the video folder. The PNG file will be moved to the image folder. Similarly, Excel and PDF files are copied to Microsoft and PDF folders inside the text folder respectively. I will bring up the directory and give you the preview of the files. Let's look at the code. It is available on GitHub repo, so you don't need to pause and copy. We have a function called clear underscore dir that does bulk of the work. We have the extension in a dictionary, so the program can handle all these extensions. You can add your own extensions and groups in the dictionary. We pass the function the directory location. It loops through and gets the file in the directory. Then it determines the file type based on the extension. Once we have the extension, we look it up in the dictionary and if it exists, then start creating folders and subfolders. Finally, we move the files to the subfolders. We have to copy the file dir cleanup to the project folder. Then we can import it in our project. Import dir cleanup. We have the file reference in our project. Now we can add another elif clause and check for condition in the text. We'll call it directory cleanup. If this condition exists, then we can ask the user for directory input. First, let's call the speak function and ask the user to provide directory path. Then we will call the input function and store the value in dir underscore location variable. Call the dir cleanup dot clear underscore dir function and pass it the directory location variable. Once directory is organized, then we can use the speak function again to advise the user that the directory is organized. Also, let's check if this directory exists with os.path.exist and pass it dir underscore location. I'll need to fix the indent after the if clause. I'll remove the space between clean and up since it's a one word. I think uh, the code is set up. So I'll go ahead and save our work and let's give it a try. I'll copy the path of the directory and run the app. Directory cleanup. Provide directory path. Directory is organized. Let's open up the directory and see the outcome. We have base folders created based on the file extension. It also created subfolders and moved the file inside the subfolders. We can check the media folder to see the image and the video file in the subfolders. Our text files are also in the subfolder under the text folder. It went very quickly, so let me run it again. This time I'll keep the directory above so we can see the process. I will stop the application and restore the directory in the initial state. Uh, while we are here, let's copy the directory path and run the application again. Directory cleanup. Provide directory path. Directory is organized. Here we go. It created the folder structure and move the files. Once we provide the directory, it checks if it exists, then passes it to the clear underscore dir function that performs the actual work. Each time we run this command, we can provide a different folder location and it will organize the folder for you. 
it can come in handy if you have folders that have been accumulating files over months. Organizing folders manually can be time-consuming task and this utility can save you a few hours. Complete code is available on the GitHub. You can add more functionality to it and share it with others. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. If you have any questions or comment, post them below and I'll see you in the next video.